Around 33,000 young people pass through Greater Manchester's education system each year. For many, their path is clear and well understood. GCSEs, A-levels and on to university with good prospects. However, the university path isn't for everyone. We need a system that provides young people with choices and provides businesses with the future workforce they need. But the alternative journey through technical education can be tangled and confusing, putting 16,000 young people in Greater Manchester on the back foot, unsure about what their future holds and what their options are. We've spoken to three young people in Greater Manchester about their experiences in navigating the complex pathways through technical education and training. I got some information on the options, like what we would be, what we would be doing um, for the course. Um, but with the potential jobs, we didn't really get advised on that, um, and it made me struggle a lot after high school. We had like an in induction day um, of like colleges and stuff and, and opportunities that you could do, but not really employers and stuff like that. There wasn't a, like a major range of opportunities. With school, they kind of just said, you're on the route to doing this, um, you should do these. And they kind of forced me into them lessons as well. It was really difficult to navigate my future after I left school because I was again, completely left in the dark. I had no support from anyone. To be honest, I didn't even know what an A-level was. <laughs> um, I didn't know anything to do with A-levels, T-levels. I knew what an apprenticeship was, but I didn't know all of these different things. But when I actually found out what an A-level was, I really didn't want to do it. So I kind of wanted to go down the creative side that didn't, in didn't include a lot of writing um, and exams because I crack under pressure. And until I met Dini, I wasn't even aware that I could get into colleges without any GCSEs, let alone build up those qualifications later on. We had certain people come in um, and in our forms we got asked who wants to be a lawyer, who wants to like be part of the police and stuff like that. Um, and we had a talk for one dinner um, and that was it and um, it wasn't the best, it was quite boring, yeah. <laughs> like get, like someone give me advice on people that can help me get into college and, and pick what courses I want to do and figure out what I wanted to do and that's why I was grateful when I met Deanie and she had like helped me get into college basically because I was really nervous and it was quite a big step to say that I was working from home for like three years during lockdown, so it was a big step into the big outdoors, to be honest. More like, like lessons on what A-levels, T-levels uh, are and um, like not being pushed to do something that you don't want to do, letting the person decide for themselves but still giving them some form of like help towards it. I think there should be systems put in place where children and young people can more easily reach out themselves and find options and figure out what they can and can't do and how to do those things. So we're not so confused and feeling like we have no options. In Greater Manchester, we want to fix the fragmented system, putting technical education on an equal footing with university education and clearing the path for those choosing to take a different route to work within the greater Manchester economy. Two routes, two clear pathways, providing good prospects and good jobs for all.